Today, I'm standing outside of Longemin Block, the Prime Minister's office here in Ottawa, because I thought you needed to know that the Trudeau government is trying to transfer the seat of democratic power in Canada from Parliament, the House of Commons and the Senate, to this building, his office. A few months ago, Trudeau's leader in the Senate, Senator Peter Harder, actually declared before a Senate committee that in his ideal Senate, quote, there should no longer be a need for an organized official opposition. Think about that. No need for an opposition? The Trudeau government has made it clear, in both the House and the Senate, that its preferred method of operation is to shut down debate and destroy any opposition in its path. This shouldn't come as a huge surprise, given that Prime Minister Trudeau has openly admired the efficiency of Communist China's basic dictatorship. Just as we've recently seen in the House of Commons, the government leader in the Senate has released a discussion paper outlining how he wants to dramatically limit debate and dismantle the Senate's opposition tools for holding a powerful majority government to account. Make no mistake, these changes would strike at the very heart of our democracy. Trudeau's Senate leader is attempting to destroy the traditional parliamentary system of a government and an opposition. The opposition's job is not to pass government legislation quickly. Our role is to oppose the government and hold it accountable for its decisions, which is exactly why the Trudeau government seeks to destroy it. The Trudeau government's grand experiment with appointing so-called independent senators has failed. The government's leadership in the Senate is ineffective, leading to much confusion and chaos. And rather than admit failure, the Trudeau government's Senate leader now wants to change the rules, changes which could silence the voice of the opposition for generations. The Senate is a partisan political institution and has been for 150 years. Should we reverse 150 years of history which has served Canada well, all to cave to the whims of Justin Trudeau? No other Prime Minister in Canadian history has ever even attempted to do this, Liberal or Conservative. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has previously called Cuban dictator Fidel Castro a remarkable leader. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But this is Canada and we cannot allow the erosion of our democratic values. Sometimes democracy gets a little messy, and full and fair debate takes time. Democracy might be inconvenient for this majority Trudeau government, but it's not a value Canada can afford to compromise.